everyone welcome back to my channel today I'm going to be doing a cooking video and I say cooking in quotes because I'm actually gonna be making my go-to Greek salad and I, I call it a Greek salad you guys might call it something different but um, I'm gonna show you guys everything that I put in this salad I make this four to five times a week usually I absolutely love this salad I never get sick of it so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys all the ingredients and then we're gonna throw it all together in a bowl and that's it so let's go ahead and get started and check out all the ingredients I'm gonna be using today So I'm gonna start here with the romaine hearts. Um, these ones I get at Trader Joe's. However, I love getting them from Costco too. They're a much better value. I haven't been to Costco in a couple weeks, so I just picked up some at Trader Joe's. And I am missing one because I already made a salad out of it. But um, these romaine hearts are perfect because you can make a huge salad if you want or you can split it into two to make for two days. The next thing you absolutely have to have is cucumbers, and I love these Persian cucumbers. They're just the right size. Depending on how I'm feeling, I'll either use one or two. I think today I'm gonna use two because it just gives it more of a crunch, and I absolutely love cucumbers, so I say why not? Just go as much as you want. I also have these red onions here. Just need a little bit of red onion. Some organic tomatoes on the vine from Trader Joe's as well. Almost, actually everything here is from Trader Joe's. The next thing here is the Greek Kalamata olives. Some feta cheese, and I just made a recipe with this feta a couple days ago, so there's only half in this cube, but I love this feta, it's super good. And then I love to mix dressings, so here I have my favorite Greek style feta dressing, and then the champagne style vinaigrette. This one is really good too, super locale, um, and I like to mix them both. I use more of the Greek and just like a splash of the vinaigrette, but it just gives it a little something extra. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started with making this salad. So the first step, that I always do when I make this salad is I take my head of romaine and I really like a nice fine chop to my lettuce. I just think it tastes so much better. So I'm just gonna chop this up. I'm gonna put it in my salad spinner and while it's like spinning, I will chop up the rest of my veggies. So I cut off the bottom. I like to cut it in two places long ways first and then I will just chop it finely in the other direction. The next thing I'm gonna do is put it in my salad spinner, and this is the OXO salad spinner, in case you're wondering. It's like extra, extra large, which I love because I can usually get about two um, hearts of romaine in here if I'm making like a salad for guests or some for the week, because sometimes I'll meal prep and do like a bunch of salads and pop them in my fridge. So that's what I do. And it's super simple. I highly recommend getting a salad spinner if you guys make a lot of salad because it makes your life so, so much easier. So I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this real quick and then start spinning. So while that is spinning, I'll probably have to pump this a couple more times. I'm gonna go ahead and chop my veggies and if you guys wanna know where I got this, I'll just link it down below on Amazon you guys care I don't know it's a good one that's all I have to say okay next thing I'm going to do is cucumbers I always start with cucumbers because they're like the heaviest of the veggies and I feel like putting them at the bottom of the bowl I don't know I don't know I just I always start with cucumbers though so. I always slice my cucumber down the center so it makes two cute little halves I'm also gonna use two tomatoes in this today. Sometimes I'll use one, but these are kind of small, so I love tomato. I typically cut the tomato in fourths, and then I clean out the inside of the tomatoes just to get all of the seeds and like that extra wetness out, otherwise my salad gets a little too watery. The last veggie you're gonna cut is the red onion. Yeah. 
I like to keep my onion as thin as I can and I kind of cut the first cut a little thick, which is fine, but I do like to do strips. So I'm just doing like some half strips, I would say, and then just tossing them in like this. Now that I have a bowl full of veggies, it's like half full, but I like my salads like this. If you guys want to do less veggies, by all means, I just really like to load it up. And now I just lay a ton of lettuce on top. I like a huge salad because this is like my lunch to hold me over for the rest of the day until dinner. So I go crazy with this salad. So I didn't use all of the lettuce because I still have to put the cheese in it and some olives. So with the, the feta, what I usually do is um, I break it up inside of a bag like this. Like I kind of like break it up. I'm gonna throw a couple olives in here too. I'm gonna go ahead and pour in a good amount of the Greek style feta dressing. And then I'm going to be doing a splash of the champagne style vinaigrette. So here is the salad completed. And I don't know about you guys, but when you make one of your favorite foods, does your mouth start to water? Because <laughs> I'm starting to salivate. I'm so excited to try a bite of this. So let's go ahead and dig in, even though I know it's gonna taste good because I make this all the time. Mm-hmm. I love this salad because it's super crunchy and there's so much flavor from that feta dressing that it really doesn't need much more. Like, I know people add like salt and pepper to their salads and stuff, which is good, but it doesn't need it, especially because the feta is extremely salty. This is like my all time go-to favorite salad and I make it all the time. I never get sick of it. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite salad is and if you like Greek salads like I do. Now it is time to announce the winner of the riddle from my last video, the three ingredient dip video. And that winner is D Nunez 88. You were the first to answer the riddle correctly and that answer was a whole. So if you guys missed that video, check it out to find out what the riddle was. But D Nunez 88, great job. So here is the next riddle and the first person to answer it in the comments down below will get a shout out in my next video. Here's the riddle. It's shorter than the rest, but when you're happy, you raise it up like it's the best. What is it? If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really does help me out. I appreciate it so much for those of you that take the time to do that. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already. I am doing a lot of cooking videos lately. I wanna start the year off strong with a lot of home cooked meals, trying to save money, trying to budget, and so yeah, if you guys are interested in that type of thing, I also do Trader Joe's hauls, Costco hauls, and just a lot of things revolving around food. So subscribe if you're interested, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.